Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 4. Ah, good to be recording. It's been a busy, busy day, but who cares about that? Ah, uh, hey, hey, look at my, uh, look at my stats here. Yeah, stats stuff, right? Uh, off the clock, yeah, got a little busy and I finally put in some time and I raised my character's levels and I'm totally comfortable. And I'll be fine for a little while, you know, and we'll we'll be doing business and uh, taking care of things, man. Yeah, the end. That's all. Uh, you can see a couple characters still have some uh, nodes they can move around with. Uh, that's because I don't have any level one key spheres, so, you know, I'm just kind of waiting around. You, the majority of you kind of know, you know the routine. You know the routine, right? I'm just kind of sitting, waiting a little bit. Uh, I could get up here with Lulu and learn like new uh, spells like Thundara, you know? Thundara? Thundara or Thundara? Thundara is the planet the Thundercats used to live on before it was destroyed and they had to go to Third Earth. Okie dokie, so we're having a good time and I have not even had my coffee. Yeah, that's how good we're feeling. So anyway guys, here we are. Uh, this is the lift. It, uh, it goes up, see, up, hit the X button for up. You know the funny thing about this part of the game is there's a scene right here that can be overlooked because, well, you know, I saved and I turned the game off and I did stuff and now I'm turning the game on and it's like, all right, um, so yeah, we go up here, right? Because you're not really thinking about what happened before you turned the game off the last time you were playing. And the last time you were playing, you were making your way up here, over to here, and then you saw Gata run out of the screen and hidden just a little bit over here why only you sir i want to fight too orders are orders i'm not a cadet anymore sir let me go with you and i'll prove it to them guarding the command center is important too you know but i came all the way from besaid to fight sin sir I know, but an order's an order, to your post-crusader. But, sir! A very interesting little scene between Gata and Luzu. And uh, God is a little disappointed he's not getting the uh, work detail that he kind of wants, you know what I mean? He's young, he's he wants to prove himself, you know? And then we leave. Actually, no! You approach even further. You know, the first time I played this game, totally missed this scene. Second time I played this game, maybe, maybe even the third time, totally miss, uh, missed this scene. These couple of scenes right here. And I think, uh, I'm not alone. Not alone. In fact, a couple of previous walkthroughs I've done, a couple of people have left comments and were like, Dude, to this day, I've never even seen that still. Shit, that's crazy. That just blew my mind. So yeah, man, it's just crazy how... And you can be a hardcore gamer, you know, of this game, let's say, and you can still miss that one scene, right? It happens to the best of us. It's crazy. They let you through, huh? Hmm. Gata deserves better. At least there's no chance he'll get hurt. Why are you guys fighting anyway? Aren't the almighty Albed Machina enough? They still need some time to get them ready. Our job is to keep Sin at bay till they're done. Mm. Mm. Waka, I might not get another chance to say this. It's about your brother. Luzu, no! What? I'm the one who convinced him to enlist. <sighs> I'm sorry. That's enough, Walker! 
When we used to play Blitz together, Chapu used to say... He said that when we won the cup, yeah, he proposed to Lulu. And then one day, he goes off and becomes a crusader, just like that. <sighs> Chapu also said to me that being with your girl is good. But keeping Sin far away from her is better. Lou, you knew? Luzu told me before we left. <laughs> she hit me too. All crusaders in the vanguard are to assemble on the beach. That's my cue. Luzu, don't die out there. So you can hit me more? Lots, lots more. <gasps> Suluzu, please. Please don't go. I have to, Yuna. Let him go. The man has already chosen his path. As you did when you became a summoner. <laughs> it would be a long time before I ever really understood the reason why Yuna let Luzu pass that day. Awesome couple of scenes there. And uh, yeah, once again, they can be missed, man. And you don't want to. Oh, man. Random battle. Out of my way. Waka is grouchy, grumpy. Uh, ooh, we gotta get Titus in here. So yeah, those scenes can be totally missed, and I don't know, there's some kind of important big scenes there, you know, between Luzu and Lulu and with Chapu and Waka and all that. I mean, you saw. I don't need to explain anything. It's powerful and it's crazy. And it just happened. And now we're gonna go up the lift. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, how you guys doing today? Who's having an awesome day? Ah, so yeah, man, Operation Meehan, this is about to get nuts. Ow! Ugh. He really hates them, huh? Chapu. He left the sword Waka gave him in Besaid. And he fought with an Albed Machina weapon instead. That's got nothing to do with it. I just hate these sacrilegious contraptions. I can't really blame him, you know? I can't blame Waka. I wonder if there's an Albed Primer around here, actually. I can't totally recall from memory. There might be one, like, on a ledge. I mean, there was one down below. So I don't want to miss it. So there are some Crusaders here and Albed. No, I don't see one right here. So that leads out... Why don't we talk to the Crusaders? Because it's fun. The cannon got out of place when we fired a test shot. Packed too much powder, I guess. I have to set her in place before the operation. Pack too much powder! Uh, here's an Albed over here. Probably speaking Albed. I will be the one to finish Sin off. 
we will do something with Machina and defeat Sin. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to spend too much time figuring it out. But, uh, you can get the gist of it. Once Sin emerges from the sea, we'll commence firing. Our shots should stun it long enough for the Albed Machina to finish it off. We just fired a test shot and this puppy roars! It near knocked me out. Heck, probably echoed as far as Luca. Sin's gonna be a huge target. We probably won't even have to aim. He's got a point there, too. We're all making good points lately, aren't we? Okay, next screen. More Crusaders. Uh, let's see here. No, I don't see anything hidden. Won't work anyway. Don't say that. Mm. It might be a hopeless campaign, and it might mean defying Yevon. But the Crusaders and the Albed, they're doing their best to defeat Sin. They want to rid Spira of Sin forever, and that's just what we want too, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. But I still think Mac and I are bad news. They're forbidden for a reason. Lady Summoner, there you are. The command center is that way. Maester Keenock is also there. Maester Keenock too? Yes. Please, hurry, my lady. Captain Lucille. She's always interrupting our, our scenes lately, isn't she? She's, she just continues to interrupt. Oh, hello there. Hey. That merchant's obviously ripping people off. I guess it can't be helped. He's he's the only game out here. I asked him for a discount, and you know what he said to me? You're gonna die anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> I wonder what that merchant's gonna do when the battle starts. Hmm. Oh, did I hear merchant? There's only one merchant that we know of. It's gotta be a walker the 23rd. He's the 23rd merchant extraordinaire. That's probably him. We're inspecting the weapons right now. They're out bed marking us, so we, you know, we have to be extra cautious. So far, so good. I'm gonna run more tests. Hmm. What, what tests? What, what do, you, do you even know what you're doing? We're only moments away from commencing Operation Meehan. Spira's fate hangs on the outcome of this mission. We will do our duty as soldiers and defeat Sin this day. Sir! Sir! It's important to spur my men on every now and then. Maybe I should give them another pep talk to be sure. Man, you'd think he'd shut up after five times. Well, was that six? The captain just keeps repeating himself. He must be really nervous. I think we're all good here. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> older guy fighting a little dude. Come on, swing like a man. Do you want to avenge your sister or don't you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat Sin. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it no matter what. Okay, 
Come on now, pretend I'm a fiend! Die! 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 Man, it's weird trying to talk to these two. Eh. Oh, uh, let's see. There's a little nook here, but still, I don't... Excuse me, cannon. This would be a good place for an Albed Primer, but no, you can tell we're getting close to our destination here. Uh, let's see. I thought there might have been some people that give you, like, items. Maybe not. You can see a walk over there. Yeah. Yeah? What do you want to know? Ah, let's ask, folks. Uh, about the cannons. The Albed provided us with these cannons at no charge. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm no Albed lover, but I've got a little respect for them now. These cannons have good range. We'll give Sin a shower and won't soon forget. Uh, tell me about the Chocobo Knights. Only a select few can become Chocobo Knights. You have to be a skilled rider or achieve some combat merit to become one. Captain Lucille is no doubt the best of the bunch right now. I just don't know how that wimp Clasco got knighted. <laughs> well, he is good at earning their trust. The chocobos, that is. What else do you want to know? Well, tell me about the operation. We've researched Sin's past behavior in planning this operation. A Sin often turns up where its Sin spawn are. So we hunted down the Sin spawn at various places and brought them here to lure it. Hmm. When it shows up, we're gonna hit it with the Ancient Machina and its Bye Bye Sin. The Crusaders' responsibility is to lure Sin and immobilize it. The Albed will deliver the finishing blow. I wish it could be the other way around, but as long as we defeat Sin, who cares? Yeah, what? Uh, never mind. Thank you, helpful person. Monopolies are great thing. Things are selling no matter what the price. Oops, sorry, I forgot. You got any weapons? Oof, man. So, uh, yeah, counterattack, that's always fun to play around with, but... I don't... I don't feel like blowing all this gill on these weapons for... Yeah, piercing initiative, yeah, that's kind of fun. But... Yeah, I'm still... You know, the thing about this game is the customization and, and the different pieces of equipment you can purchase and equip and weapons and all that stuff, it's interesting and it's neat. And I don't want to say it's bad, but I don't know. You can just kind of write it off, you know? Welcome to Oaka's. What about items? Like, you don't have to get too crazy about it, you know? You don't have to... Every time you get to a new location, like a new town, village, city, you know, whatever, where they have the items and the equipment, you could just pass it over sometimes, you know? Oops, softs. I'll buy a couple. Five. So, yeah, get some, uh... Get some items. I always like to... This, look at this. I like to be even. Look at that. 30, 5, 55, uh, 5. I don't know. Because I'm like that. So no discount? Did I not give you enough, Awaka? Mm. But yeah, I, I feel like in this game, even though it's kind of cool with how things work with the weapons and the equipment and all, like I said, yeah, you can just you can pass over, uh, I don't know, a place like Kilika. All right, Kilika. Oh, let's shop. Nah. Luka, nah. Just keep going, you know? I like it when the game forces you to shop, like, oh, well, this next section is going to have fiends that totally are going to be turning you to stone, and, well, actually, they do have that. That's actually coming up right after here. Uh, what, that lizard dragonish creature, that, uh, stone gaze or whatever, and then, yeah, you need those softs. But not enough, you know? Not enough. Game like Final Fantasy IX. Hey, yo, man, now that utilized that whole thing way more. The operation will begin shortly. Please check all your equipment. Mm. You all right? Of course not. I came here to fight Sin, but they stick me here. Mm. If you want to prove yourself, 
Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. Gata is very glummy. He's down in the dumps. Shall we attempt to cheer him up? Where'd he go? He's, uh... Oh, is he standing over here? No. <laughs> he should be. What is what is the point of this little... And you can see it on the map, too, this little nook. Perhaps it's just so you can see what's over there, you know? It looks like a big meeting place. And Gata... There he is. Just doing what they say, it just won't be enough. Well, guarding the command center is important too, but yeah, you should be on the front lines. That's right, it's not fair. You do something, even if it means bending the rules. Yeah, but guarding the command center is important, because you know, well, yeah, you know, you should be on the front lines. You're ready. That's right, it's not fair. Got to show Loser what I can do. Okay, looks like Gata is gonna. Have got to show Loser what he can do. Say it again, Gata. I've got to show Loser what I can do. He's got to show Loser what he can do. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, I'm gonna do a recording save, which means I'm gonna approach the sphere ball and and do a little save here. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, once I have, like, enough saves for walkthrough purposes, I start reusing, like, old ones. Like, I don't think I need that one anymore at the bottom where I was at, uh, Bisaid at the inn. No, we can get rid of that, right? Thank you! My PlayStation Plus renews automatically. What's up with that, by the way? See a little plus symbol next to my little, my little name there? <laughs> uh... It renewed automatically without telling me. I guess that's cool, but I feel like I'm not really using it all too much for my benefit. In other words, you know, since since I'm not using it to my benefit, then that would mean it's kind of a waste of money, don't you think? All right, so you guys are probably looking forward to what's going to happen next after we go into the little circus tent area. I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? <laughs> That's Wen Kinok, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks, and also commands the crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work. You know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. What? Lord Keenock? Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened the last ten years. What were you doing and where? Fulfilling a promise I made to a friend. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkand? <laughs> I kinda... think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Elbed waiting outside to begin the operation at once. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. I don't know why, but I've never liked the design of this one guard. Where is he? Yeah, right here. He looks like small and puny and like decrepit. I don't know. Something about just the way he looks. Maybe it's the helmet that covers his head. And we saw this guy earlier with, what was it, when we were trying to pass the Meehan High Road to this place and they used him once 
once before and now again. And I don't know, man. Something about the design of a couple characters. You know, we all have our faves, I guess. Are you ready? Uh, no, no, not yet. Please hurry. Please hurry. So, I think, yeah, we, we can get out of here. Okay, that's cool. Since Lucia was interrupting us a bunch, where did she run off to? Oh, well. Okay, so last uh, last opportunity to go to Awaka's, get stuff, and why don't we talk to the people here, and yeah. I don't think Kamari's gonna do anything. He's just kind of looking at us. I guess we're past our first phase of knowing each other, where he's like, get, get out of my face! I will use physical violence! No physical violence. Okay, so that's the end of that. Uh, there's a treasure chest here. Go to Yuna. Okay. Go to Yuna. I'm a little nervous. Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. I don't think any of these characters are gonna tell me that at all, ever again. You know, during this game and the events that happened in, in this game. <laughs> make sure you're prepared. Get ready for the battles and make sure you're armed and ready. And look, where's Waka? Oh, and Albed, how did you get in here? We have the ancient Machina. We will succeed. Will Machina be the best thing ever? And Yevon's teachings uh, are... Really, they suck. Sucky. A summoner? I shall report this later. <laughs> I remember that one. Being around Yevon's people makes me sick. Ugh. Don't like it. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. I'm pretty close. Oh, hey, Waka. What are, you, what are your thoughts? With them here, it's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. Uh, and another kind of interesting thing about this that you might overlook, because... Alright, I talked to everyone. Let's let's go. Let's proceed. I'm ready. No, no, you can come over here, and look, here's Keenock and Seymour, and they're standing off, you know, kind of looking out. And you can talk to Keenock here. Being a maester has its privileges. I can just sit here and watch. Hey, Keenock, what's your favorite scary movie? I can't remember your actor name right now, but... What is your favorite scary movie? Scream voice. Uh... Are you ready? Uh, no, no, no. Please hurry. You cannot talk to Seymour. He's just outside the bubble. Too bad, huh? But yeah, I, I don't know. One of those things that I personally feel that's, uh, that can be overlooked. I guess I'll say that because I personally overlooked it, you know? My first playthrough or two or whatever, you know, back in the day. Some of you may have never missed that, or you may maybe you missed something else that I think's easy, or you know, something like that. I don't know, it's weird, right? It's weird. Uh, so I'm just walking back here, there's nothing else to do. And if you're gonna save, do it now. And, uh, yeah, you can tell Big Battle is about to start, man. Crazy Big Battle. You're gonna want your levels up high. What was that bracer? I want to see that real quick. That was braces are for uh, Orin. Might as well, right? I don't know. We don't have anything that causes berserk on us. You guys want to see my real quick? I don't know. Not too much craziness here. Rod of wisdom. I mean, yeah, I could buy some things, but I don't care. It's not gonna... It's not gonna be the difference between my life and my death here, man. I know it. I know so. I've played this game way too many times. Piercing and Ice Strike. Um... Meh. My Hunter's uh, Spear, that's a good thing. Oh, and the... Did I do... Yeah, I think I did this. So, yeah, that's it, man. So, I'm good. I'll be fine. I know. So guys, we're about to start a huge crazy battle. It's gonna be Operation Meehan. It's gonna be all of us, the Crusaders, the Albed, their Machina against Sin, 
Who will emerge the victor? Will the game be over shortly? Will there be a new enemy? I don't know, folks. We're gonna find out, of course, like always, but not now, because I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, some of those comments, and tell me what you think. Like always, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. The links are in the video description. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.